should we take XY and Nevsky to the battlefield or should we take Nevsky and William to the battlefield? If you're planning to use only one cavalry march, then that's a hard question to answer. Now, in some cases, you may not have even invested in any of them and you're just trying to decide whether you should go for William and XY or XY and Nevsky or Nevsky or William. Well, we'll try to answer some of those questions in this video today and there's a second video of this fighting coming up tomorrow where you will have a little bit more so today's focus is going to be is it going to be xy and nevsky or is it going to be nevsky and william if you have all three maxed or which two should you invest in so to do this battle test electo and i have identical situations other than the fact that he's using a cavalry civilization he's germany and i'm ottoman for the testing i'm not going to change it now it really doesn't matter whether him and i have the same thing because the testing that we're doing is basically electo's two marches compared against each other so you have electors xy and nevsky hitting three of my marches and then you have electors nevsky and william hitting the th three of the same marches of me so basically we want to see which march of electors does better is it going to be the xy and nevsky or is it going to be the nevsky or william now the three matches that I'm using, the first one you saw already was a Pakal and Harold maxed and that got destroyed. Now my Pakal is on rally talent trees, but I actually thought that it'll do a little bit better. I think Pakal Harold actually needs a surround to do better but either way that got smashed next up my amani and artemisia got smashed as well that was rather expected cap versus archers now in the third fight we have a cavalry versus cavalry and i'm using a museum buffed maxed mina and cow cow now this obviously is going to be smashed as well so basically all three of my marches are gonna get smashed this round and probably next round as well when he brings the Nevsky and William. Now what we will compare at the end of the video is which one of his marches has the highest number of troops remaining out of the set of three battles that we did. Now we got Nevsky William the second batch starting and I got the Pakal and Harold again. Now I you know what i probably should have used harold and pakal that way harold will be doing more skill damage with feral nature and then the fact that i have my pakal on on a rally talent tree will be overlooked but you know what don't need to worry about it because in both cases i'm using the same pakal with the same talent tree so it doesn't kind of impact our testing that we are trying to do now, whilst we are doing the testing, regardless of what the result shows in the end, there are a few things that I would like to mention. The first one is, if you're doing a 1v1 fighting, it obviously doesn't reflect a real battle. To be honest, nothing reflects a real battle other than a real battle. But then a real battle, when you are fighting in KVK, when your marches come back and you're trying to look through your reports, it's not reliable from a testing point of view because you'll have all these marches hitting you you will have you hitting all these marches there will be all sorts of buffs and debuffs going on so you kind of can't rely on them either so as much as we're gonna check the reports this is more for your visual pleasure now the real conversation or the real answers come from the people that are using these commanders in kvk and fighting and i did manage to speak with some of them and then the general kind of theme that i got is most of the medium to low spenders are either using nevsky and william or you planning to use nevsky and william and that includes electo himself and then there are players that are much higher in terms of their spending and their crystal tech and they're rather relying on xy and nevsky because that does more damage now these players the higher spenders that i'm talking about they're probably going to get up to the sixth and the seventh march and at that time they'll somehow fit their william in within the seven marches as well so it's not like they're missing out on the william buffs but then again the reason why the medium and the low spenders probably prefer using nevsky william is because how swai is kind of set in our mind as the first march we have to target 
Now the funny thing with that is as much as XY is the first target I have to start thinking that the Nevsky is going to be the next XY and probably gonna get targeted just as much. Now let's have a look at the reports. So that's the first XY Nevsky report with Elector having 16,000 something troops remaining against my Pakal and then against the Amani he has 16,000 something remaining as well. Now let's check the Minamoto which is the next one and he got 17,000 remaining. So very strong showing from Electro. Now we are going to compare that with the next three. So 13,000, 11,000 and 10,000. So if you're going to compare then definitely the XY is doing a lot more damage compared to the William. So XY Nevsky does better than Nevsky William. Now as we discussed before this is just a 1v1 and in real KVK the factor you have to consider is how often that March is going to get targeted. Going by that logic a Nevsky William may be a better choice for most hope you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this